Hey, what's up, my friends? Toby Wayne from Toby Wayne Studios. So tonight, I focused on pouring up more resin. This is pretty much just a production night for me. Um, I thought I would just turn the cameras on. And this time, my friends, I am going to be focusing on doing slush casting. Um, I am going to cover this in a more in-depth video. I just wanted to uh, drop this video down, though, to uh, let everybody kind of see uh, some of the slush casting procedures. Uh, it's it's a little different than the regular uh, resin casting. Uh, there you see I poured a little tiny bit in and started to kind of rotate uh, the resin around the walls. I had baby powdered the inside of the mold to make sure that was a surface uh, tension breaker. And uh, I have actually cut out a ton of me rotocasting because this takes about six, well, I, it takes a little longer, I would say, for the resin to kick because it is so thin and because I'm rotating it. Uh, so it, it takes a good solid three to four minutes of just uh, spinning and spinning and rotating and more rotating. So <laughs> I, I spared you guys the hassle and the uh, drawn out uh, process that is uh, slush casting, roto casting, hollow casting, if you will, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I have sliced some of that out, but it, this is pretty much uh, the how it works. This is the second coat. I mixed up a little bit more and dropped some more resin in there. Um, and I do that before, uh, well, actually, I will say, I, I drop it in there while it's still in the semi-curing, uh, gelling stages. That way the two batches of resin have time to mix together and properly lock. Um, and I've got a little bit of time between each layer. You don't want to let a lot of time go by, but I'd say, you know, I have a good uh, two, three minutes between each layer that I can add the new resin so that it sticks. Um, and here I'm just mixing up my uh, next batch of resin for my next mold. Um, that's going to be, I think, a shrunken head. Um, so this is a smaller batch because the head is uh, smaller than the other uh, piece that I did. Um, so I just used, mixed up a little less resin and uh, again, do the first batch, dump it in, rotate, and then mix in and dump in the second little batch to, um, I, I, let me rephrase that. It's the first batch. I just did it in sections. So it's a little easier to manage. Um, there was my first section. Now I'm mixing up my second batch of resin. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> um, I'll cover that more in a more in-depth uh, tutorial on uh, resin casting. Maybe I'll shoot it with my GoPro so it's a little easier to see. Maybe I'll have my wife film it for me because she's sweet that way. So um, yeah, here I am mixing up my second batch, um, pouring it in because the first batch is already kicked. And now I'm just mixing it. And I've again sliced out a big chunk of time because I just keep rotating and rotating. So very taxing on the body. There are machines uh, that uh, work, uh, rotocast machines, but you have to have special molds and they're a lot of money. So eh. builds up my muscles, I suppose. So there's my first casting glove mold, uh, poured it in, slushed it around. Nice seam lines, nice and easy. And uh, here I'm going to demold the second one. This is the little shrunken head. So anyway, thank you guys so much for checking this video out. I appreciate you guys, and I will catch you in the next video.